where Peyton got his 125 done. Finally, it's been in pieces. Pull out. Uh. What's up YouTube? So today we're going back out to Pavilion to uh, watch Ryan and stuff race today. I got the pitter loaded up. Now that I got the tire fixed up, good to go so I can just pit around and don't have to walk. And uh, we'll be there shortly to see what he's up to. I heard that there's like 50 to 60 people in the knob class today. So and they're doing two different heats. But um, I'll see when I get there. Looks like fun. What a great day to be racing dirt bikes, huh Ryan? <laughs> great day. Ryan, the hat's sick. Oh, what a great day to come and watch. Just rain the entire time. Full mud race. We're packing up. Ryan's leaving. Just the track shot. It's literally a swamp right now. The next day, I just pulled up to Ryan's house. I left my bike in the trailer. He just throws it in his side garage. Just throws it up against stuff. Throws my helmet on the ground. It was upside down on the ground. I really, I really appreciate it, Rye guy. Yeah, man. I really, look at that moto Are you diet. washing your bike? Moto diet with the Pop-Tart. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll get this this thing loaded. Right, Ryan's got all his bikes put away nice in line. It looks like I didn't show in the video yesterday. His pipe got a nice, nice little dent in there in the back. You can explain what happened if you want. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk you about know, it. You don't want to talk about it? So right. what? It was super muddy as the clips. I don't even super think I muddy. showed any clips of, of riding, actually. Yeah, but the track was like literally a swamp of swamp. mud. Total swamp for the first motos, so... You can take over from here. I finally got over. a good start. I suck at starts. Yeah. Finally got a good start. First out there. Got the whole shot. First corner. I actually witnessed it. I actually saw it, so he's not lying. So he got the whole shot. First corner. Washed out the front end. <laughs> Too money. First time Too money for Rye shot. Guy. Rye Guy ain't good Swaps in the Swaps it out. <laughs> Swaps it out. I stand up. Didn't even, like, pick it up very fast. No. Nope. Some Runs over my bike. Some guy <laughs> runs over my leg. Bag. Runs over Ryan. Yeah. You know, and then he just, he did one lap and then he just and pulls off the track. Off. I was done. So I didn't get any footage of him. I was like, screw this. Night yeah, so he pulled off and then that was first moto, right? Yeah, no one even did second time. And then I think second moto's got canceled, so. Then he just cleaned up the bike and we, he was home by like one o'clock in the afternoon. So It was pretty good. It probably would have been garbage if he stayed the rest of the day and tried to race because the track was just going to get shot. Worse. And they, they might have done second motos actually. No, they, I think they it. did, but a lot of people left. Yeah, but yeah, like 90% of, no, probably like 50% of people left and ended up leaving. He didn't even break out the 125 or, I don't even, well, he didn't even bring the 125. It still needs the linkage bearings. I don't know if you're going to be able to, yeah, you're ready to look at that. Yeah, it's bad. You can see it moves, so it needs linkage bearings, it needs uh, stem steering stem bearings. Needs a new clutch perch that I still owe him, or I have it at the house since I broke it. It fell off the stand when I put it on the stand, and a couple other things. I'm really debating on, he wants to sell, why do you want to sell the 125? He almost sold it last night. He's like, hey, let me get that clutch perch so I could uh, sell the 125 tonight. And, you back and I convinced him not to sell it because, one, it makes him ride better, I think. I think my 125 makes me ride the 250 a little bit better. And I, ride as much. I don't know. It's just you can't. You gotta have a two-stroke. Like now that I have a two-stroke, like everybody else has to have a two-stroke in the fleet. You know. Uh, yeah. Just, I guess so. But I'm thinking if he does end up selling it, I might possibly buy it off him. I don't know if I want to do a YZ125 build this coming uh, winter project or what I want to do. I Post a comment down below what you want to see for a winter project build or maybe a summer build. I don't know. I'm trying to. Uh, Find a couple of bikes, different options. I was thinking either a YZ125 build. There was a lot of uh, feedback on the YZ125. Um, maybe like an older model um, CR125. Either getting like an 89 or something a little bit older and doing like a retro rebuild. Or getting a newer style and doing the, getting like a 2003 CR125 and then putting the 2018 um, 250F plastics on that. And redoing the whole thing like I did in my KX. But I'm not really sure what I want to do. So post a comment down below what you think, what bike I should build. And uh, I'll definitely take that into consideration on the upcoming uh, summer or winter build. And uh, yeah, well, but it's I always... I lied about the FMF before, but now I'm actually getting Now he's one. actually getting a 4.1. Fine, are you getting the full system or just the slip-on? Uh, the slip-on and the mid-pipe. Slip-on, well the mid-pipe comes with yeah. it, but so it would look good if you had the full um, titanium and stuff and then got the carbon fiber guard and everything but yeah, that's but like an extra 80 bucks for the for the carbon it'll like, look sick it's it like looks a sick. 800 for the full well i mean you kind of you don't have to you could 
You could run it. Jagger's running his wide open. Yeah, but it the looks seam. roached. Yeah. I don't know. But it needs a tire already. The tire looks brand new, basically. It's got what two rides. You're like, oh, it needs a new tire. I'm factory now. Look at that. I'm factory. See that now. rounding over? It's barely rounded over, dude. Just run <laughs> it for the season. Season. Honestly, or just swap it with the 125. Oh, the pit bike, I don't even know. This kid, everything's on Craigslist Touch right now. Oh. oh. Shit. <laughs> wow. This kid puts the grip over because he <laughs> wants he wants the handlebars to be shorter, so he just slides the grip over so he doesn't use that side of the bar. Well, Look, he's, it, he's yeah. even got it marked off right here too. Like if he was gonna cut it, Ryan would be the guy to just cut the one side shorter and be like, "Yeah, I like that way that feels," and leave the other side longer than this side. That's what I'm gonna I do. I swear. <laughs> I told you to get the the Mika bars. They already come like pretty similar to like cut the right size. I know. But oh well. I'm gonna load up my bike and then head out. He's got the used the uh, Moto 9 he bought, the Flex. He bought this helmet used for some reason. I don't know it why. It's cheap. The hell, the vibe is all. This thing's been wa crashed in probably 50 times. That's not safe. Hey, that's the that's not twisted. safe. The shell isn't twisted. It's good. Hey, you can you can do you, but. I gotta order that bike. Is now. that the filter just from the weekend or that? That's, that's probably just a couple from one rides. day. That's just from that's practice. That's from the mud? Just from practice. In the morning? I changed We got a new uh, Seduce. Sidu. Ryan got a new uh, ski do spark. <laughs> a sea do <-doo> spark. <laughs> I would take it off. He doesn't want me to. It's. I'll give you a little sneak peek. It's like a yellowish. A tr what is it? A trix. A trix. It's got like the teal and the. It's not yellow under there too, is it? Just the teal with the black. Teal black. If you know, you know what a spark looks like. I don't need to take the cover off, but I'm trying to get. I've always wanted to try stand up jet ski. This is not a stand up, obviously. In my pond, where I'm gonna try to make it happen, get a stand up in my pond and try it out because stand-up jet skis look pretty fun to be honest come on big guy whoa it's about to fall off easy load 101 kind of that's good enough people wanted an update on the cummins here <laughs> what's the update it looks like it's still leaking I, I was about to say it's leaking oil in the driveway but you got a little plate or yeah. something down there so well that's over the course of two weeks yeah but it's got a bad front main seal that needs yeah. to be replaced what's the update do you still want to sell it and get an f-250 yeah i want to sell and get a newer truck yeah, yeah it's cool and loud and stuff and it rolls <laughs> really cold. loud it rolls cold <laughs> Blue. <laughs> it's, it's got some bright, blue rims. bright blue. It's a nice shape, but yeah, um, hot boy rims. Like I, like I've said, quiet new, a quiet diesel. new F two F one fifty. No, two or three. Eco boost. No, not <laughs> eco, eco boost. boost. Not eco boost. <laughs> no. <laughs> diesel power. Hey, pull that trailer just fine. I'm not gonna lie. That's all you need it for. No. You know. No, not that. But you gotta pull all that heavy equipment oh, yeah. and stuff for work. My dozer. And all stuff. your your all tractors dozers, and tractors. weed whackers. It's, a weed whacker just weighs too much for the eco boost way too much yep but yeah for sale if you guys are uh, if you guys are in the upstate new york area and are interested in some uh some more details dm ryan on instagram at r griffin something what's your instagram r griffin 265 r griffin 265 i'll put it on the While screen there, right here give me a follow also up. at t monigan also give me a follow on instagram at tyler monigan for uh you know if you're gonna follow ryan you may as well follow me but uh, I do want to give a quick little rundown because there might be somebody out there that's interested that wants to buy it. All right, so if not, if you don't like slip. trucks, then I'm we're sorry. We got a four inch lift with Bilstein shocks. Yep. Uh, we got uh, the newer steering box, newer stabilizers. It's got the Ford Gen grill with pods, or Ford Gen bumper with pods. It's got LEDs, color match tow mirrors, LED cab lights, leather interior. We'll show the interior seats. after. Power seats, what else? Um, it's got a built ATS four-speed transmission. Um, it's it's got, got a sweet rear bumper. I have a bumper. <laughs> sweet I have a bumper. rear bumper. I just took it off because this doesn't fit with the roll pan yeah. bumper. It's you guys saw in the video putting this thing and on. And then it's got 22-inch gear rims on 33-inch Toyos. These are the uh, same tires that are on my truck. They're really, uh, really good tires. Brand new. The camera would focus. They're pretty much brand new tires. There's maybe like 5,000 miles on them. Truck's rust for you was a southern truck. A little rust. Yeah, just very but normal, normal surface rust. rust from being up here for a year or two. But yeah. other than that, everything's solid. Do you have the? Is it open or no? No, I don't have my keys. You don't have the keys. All right, well, you'll get a little quick inside look right here if my camera would focus. Whatever, full leather, nothing. There's a couple little problems, but that's to be uh, to be expected with a 99. It's got a sweet uh, arrow antenna <laughs> that Ryan didn't put on there but yeah there's a little rundown if you're interested like I said 
Hit up your boy Ryan. Come on again on it. <laughs> <laughs> put a little light bar in there. I'm not about the light bar life anymore because I don't really know where I could put it on there. I don't really, I just don't care anymore. Negative 44 offset and because of the, the flares in there, it barely even pokes out. Like mine, that's a negative 19 offset. And if you can see right here, it pokes out like two inches. Well, so, it probably pokes too with minus the fender Well, flares. it would poke probably a lot more without yeah, the fender flares, five. but these are factory, I'm pretty, right? These no, are factory or no? Market. You bought them aftermarket? Yeah. Put, put your toe mirrors in. No, because I have adjusted <laughs> from when I was towing slim. <laughs> I want to see how it looks with the toe mirror in, though, because it's they're all, I've only seen them out. No, I left them in the whole time. I only put them up the other day. Something else about the motor, what else? Oh, it's got uh, 175 horse injectors to a, or it's a, Five inch turbo back straight pipe to a uh, eight inch axle dump. Uh, edge six position uh, chip tuner. Yeah. It's got bigger intercooler pipes, Canon air filter. How many miles are on it? 150. 150,000. So there's pretty much the details on it if you're interested. That's pretty much everything that needs to be covered. All right, guy. I'll see you later. This thing's not going to go anywhere. This thing for sure needs some maintenance. That's It needs an oil change, air filter, some other stuff. It's been a while on that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get home before it rains here. It's literally been wanting to storm all day. Like, look at the dark clouds up there. I just don't want to unload it in the pouring rain and everything be soaked, but. Shout out to Ryan for actually washing this thing out for me. It was a little bit dirty from practice, but uh, he washed it when he was washing his uh, his bike up. So. Still a little bit dirty, actually. I don't know. Woody actually must have barely rinsed it off. I might actually take this thing apart. I have to, it looks like inside of here, you're not gonna be able to see it, but on the shock, one of the um, conversion kit mounts, I forgot to put a bolt in there and it could be, that's resulting in the back end to be a little bit lower, but it's off by like a half an inch where the, the bolt should have gone through. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. I'm gonna tear this thing back down, get that bolt put in and hopefully it fixes it and brings it up another half an inch or an inch um, on the back end because it is a little bit low when you take it off the stand and sit on it compared to like a normal, the normal 250 or whatever. I know I've seen a couple comments. A lot of my friends say that it kind of squats, kind of like a chopper. But I, I honestly don't see it when I ride it in the riding videos of when people get footage of me. I don't know. I'll investigate and I'll take it apart. What would be a day without riding a pit bike? Literally ride this thing probably every day if it's not raining. wheelie boy action. I can't drag it behind me like how they drag it on the ground. Not that advanced, but I can take my hand off. That's about it. Well, there's my daily dosage of uh, pit bike riding, I guess, for today. It's literally about three and it's super windy. I'm gonna show you guys in detail on these electric skateboards. This thing I've got a little more comfortable on. It goes like 25 miles an hour. It's super scary at high speed. Clean up all my crap on the bench. I feel like I clean it and then it instantly gets dirty again within like two days. From fireworks out to, I don't even know, tools, chargers, this, stuff, I don't know, crap. Finally ordered up the top end for this thing so it should be uh, back in action very soon. I'm also gonna look into uh, some more parts for this, get some bigger pegs, order those up tonight and uh, a new brake lever, and I think that's pretty much it for right now. And a seat cover, a Traction MX seat cover is coming for it. Giving the e-board a little run around the neighborhood. This thing is so fun. Oh, blast out, blast out, blast out. <laughs> you wanna give it a yeah, try, no, Anthony? No. Give it a little run? Okay, dude, this thing is so What? Give it a little, uh, let's see a little flyby back and forth. <laughs> full blast, full speed full flyby. Blast. Fast? <laughs> what? Speed wobble. You can't take it anymore? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me see. It. Dude, those, it's fun those though. Bikes, Honestly. I would not do it with your camera. Why not? I, Once I you hit just speed wobble, with... it's... Yeah, you no. just gotta like lean forward and not think about getting speed wobble. No, it just happened. Go <laughs> full speed trying to car. If you guys want to check them out, it's just lubeboard.com. I'll leave all the links down below in the description. Check them out. Check them out. These things are sweet. It's all carbon fiber. You can't see right now. Okay, but. to end this video out, I haven't done this in a very long time as far as questions on Snapchat. I just uh, made a post, asked you guys to ask me some questions. So I'm going to run through like five or ten real quick. First question is from Ethan Solis. Why did you get an F-150 instead of an F-250? I really have no need for an F-250. There's no reason to spend more money on an F-250 when I don't really tow anything. Maybe later down the line. Um, when I trade in the F-150, I'll get an F-250 depending on where I'm at in life. But there's just no need, honestly, to get a diesel just for extra money. There's no need. Um, is Do you plan on buying your own house anytime soon? 
I mean, I'd like to have my own house sometime sooner to have a sick track in the backyard and a bunch of cool different things, but uh, not for a couple more years at least until I figure stuff out. What age did you start becoming into filming and making videos? I used to make videos well beyond Actually, I always posted them to YouTube, I believe. I just didn't, nobody ever watched them or anything. I've been making YouTube videos since like 2010. I even had a channel with like 10K subscribers that I'm not gonna bring up. I'm gonna talk about this briefly. I had my first viral video when I was like 13 years old. I posted whenever Flappy Bird was uh, really popular. If you guys remember that app, uh, you guys know what's up back in the day. Flappy Bird was super popular and I remember downloading the app and making like a hack video on how to hack it to get a high score. And I'm not even joking. Literally, I posted it in probably like 7 p.m. on like a Thursday. I woke up Friday morning and the video had like 1.5 million views. I was like, I didn't even know what to like, what to even do. Like a million views overnight, that's insane for like a channel that had like 100 subscribers. I gained like 5,000 subscribers overnight. Like totally mind blowing to me. So, and then the video ended up getting uh, taken down and deleted because somebody flagged it. So, it is what it is. But that's my first like viral hit on uh, YouTube well before the uh, the moto vlogs and such. The 125 board out, yeah, it's a 144, it's not a, it's not a 125. This question I get a lot, where do you buy that power washer soap thing, which is the foam cannon which I showed cleaning my truck and my dirt bike. You spray it, sprays a bunch of soap and stuff, you just wipe it down, power wash it off, and it makes it super clean, you don't have to really scrub it unless it's super, super dirty. Just the generic foam cannon, I'll leave the link down below in the description so you can buy it. I think it's like 15 bucks for a foam cannon, and then you just buy generic, like, $2 dish soap from the store, about two inches of soap in it and then the rest water and it just sprays foam and cleans your bikes perfect and your trucks and cars and ATVs or UTVs, your street bikes, whatever you wanna clean, it'll do that. So I'd highly recommend buying that for like 15, 20 bucks, it's a super good deal. I know I've answered this question a lot in the last video regarding the lights in here. I put a few more lights up um, in the ceiling. As you can see, it's super lit up in here. These are just basic, I think they're like Barina something lights. They're like 40 bucks, you get eight lights. Perfect for your garage, they're super light. You just put them in the drywall and like just clip them in. These are honestly, I recommend these lights to everybody that asks about them. If you wanna check them out too, I'll leave the link down below. Honestly, for 40, 50 bucks for eight lights that'll light up your whole garage like super bright LED lights. Definitely the best bang for your buck, so check them out. All the links to everything I talk about is always in the description down below. What do I like better, the 250 or the 125? Well, I haven't really gotten a lot of time on the 125, which I want to. I just want to just ride like a private track and not have to pay to ride and just ride and just learn how to ride the thing. But honestly, as of right now, I think I still, the two stroke is something different, something fresh. I just have to learn how to ride it before I can make a good kind of comparison to the two. So right now, I enjoy riding the 250 more. It's just more consistent. It's more just, I don't know, but I'm, that can definitely change. Don't get me wrong, I like riding the 125 for sure. It's just something different and I haven't really learned how to ride the thing yet. I can a little bit, but just not the way that I would like to. So the question, was the pit bike worth the money? Yes, the pit bike was 100% worth the money since I ride that thing every single day. Pretty much every single day if it's not raining or if I'm not super busy doing something. Or at least ride it for like five minutes. So I'd say it's worth it and uh, just gets me out to do more and go ride pit bikes with my buddies and just have a good time on it, honestly. And I could ride that thing way more than I can the big bikes because if I had a track in my backyard, I'd 100% be riding the big bikes more. But the fact that I have to drive 45 minutes to an hour every time I want to ride and it just is annoying. So once I get my own house, hopefully in the next, uh, like I said, year, two years, I can uh, be able to do that. Last question I'm going to do is uh, meetups, like how I want to, I definitely want to do a meetup. Um, this summer sometime and maybe an area pavilion something trying to figure out like a set date I'm not entirely sure how I would do it people come and organizing the whole thing and not have it just be a ride and have other things to do and this and that but I definitely think it would be cool to have like a, a ride out come hang out ride maybe like a barbecue type thing chill have some other stuff to do like I said but it's just getting everything organized so it can be planned. Not just like show up here and not have anything planned and this and that. So like I said, I definitely want to try and plan something and figure something out for the summer. But um, like anything, it takes time. And while I'm on the topic with this, post a comment down below. Let me know some uh, content you want to see within the next couple weeks or so. A lot of you don't like the pit bikes. Some of you like the pit bikes. Honestly, I have a good time on the pit bikes, so I'm going to keep posting the pit bike videos. And then uh, you're going to get a mixture of both videos. Like sometimes I'll get on a streak of pit bike videos, and then sometimes I'll get on a streak of big bike videos. So 
it's just a mixture and then the build videos kind of it's easier for people to follow along and like want to come back to see what's happening in the next uh, build series video but i'm just going to keep rambling so i'm going to end the video here if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more definitely hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up share with your friends i know it was kind of a short video just hanging out going to pick on bike talking to ryan here and there but i'm trying to do uh, daily uploads for the next couple days and uh, tomorrow i'm supposed to be riding the next day is riding and i Gonna try to ride the next day too, so three riding videos in a row. Off of that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.